You've built your first application and it runs within the IDE. However, you would like to share it with others. To do that, you can build a jar file. What you'll need to do is go to File, Project Structure. You want to make sure that you have the artifacts item selected on the left hand side. You'll hit the plus icon, select Jar from modules with dependencies. You'll make sure your module is selected. In our case, Simple Calculator is the one that I want. Then I'm going to select the main file, which is main KT in our case. We'll click OK. And then at this point, you can press Apply and OK. You're now ready to build your jar file. To do so, you'll go to Build menu, and then Build Artifacts, and you'll get the pop-up, and just click Build. And you'll notice the build is happening down here in the bottom, and actually, it's already done. And what will happen is some files will be placed into the Out folder. So let's go ahead and expand those out. You'll see Artifacts, Simple Calculator Jar, and there is our jar file that will can be executed on the command line. So you'd be able to actually send this to someone else and they could execute it. So let's do that. I'm going to right click and open this area in the terminal down here. And this is going to open up a terminal directly in this folder path here. So we can see out artifacts, simple calculator jar. So what we see here is this exact folder that's right here. So we are now in the terminal of this location. We can see ls. And I can run this jar file by typing java jar simple calculator dot jar hit enter and now our program is executing please enter our arithmetic problem one plus two is three four plus five is this 40 divided by seven is that value eight times 22 is this value hit enter and of course we get it to exit so now you have built your first Java application, compiled it down to a jar file, which then you can take and send to anybody else and they can execute this program on their computer. Now, be aware if you do send a jar file over email, most likely most email providers are probably going to strip that file out as it can be considered an executable. So you'll need to get it to them a different way, maybe through a file sharing service of some sorts. So that's how you can build a jar file simply through IntelliJ and then you'll get your jar file Congratulations on creating your first application.